Hi everyone and welcome back to Writing Guy. So in today's Fountain Pen Thoughts video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about enhancing your descriptive writing and create some more vivid imagery for your sentences as well as your essays and paragraphs. Before we get into the video, again, I've just started a Patreon in which the funds will be used for giveaways and to get the pens that will be used for future reviews and right now as we speak there is a giveaway going on so head over to the links in the comments and you'll stand a chance to win a Montblanc Beaupoint 161 with a Redden customization the giveaway is going to be worldwide so everyone has a chance to win head over there and check out the rules and stipulations thank you guys and let's go back to the video Descriptive writing holds the power to transport readers into new world, allowing them to experience scenes, characters, and emotions with remarkable clarity. Crafting vivid imagery is a skill that can captivate and engage readers, immersing them in the narrative. And here are five essential techniques to enhance your descriptive writing and create imagery that leaps off the page. Number one is to activate the senses. Engage all five senses is crucial in descriptive writing. Move beyond the visual and incorporate sound, touches, taste, and smell to evoke a more complete sensory experience. By describing the fragrance of a summer meadow, the sound of gentle rain, or the taste of warm and freshly baked apple pie, readers can feel a deeper connection to the character and what they are experiencing as well. Secondly, utilize powerful adjectives and adverbs. Choosing the right words is crucial in creating vivid imagery. Replace ordinary adjectives and adverbs with more vibrant and specific ones. Instead of describing a character as happy, use ecstatics or gleeful, so to say. Similarly, replace ran with darted or bounded or leaped to truly bring the scene to life. Use a lot of words. There are plenty of words in the dictionary, so why do we keep repeating the same old words, right? Number three. Employ sensory metaphors and similes. Metaphors and similes provide a fresh perspective and make the prose more captivating. Comparing a character's laughter to the tinkling silver bells or a forest to a living, breathing creature can elevate the imagery by creating strong visual associations that resonates with the reader. Number four, and this is probably the most repeated sentences in any creative writing class. Show, don't tell. Rather than simply telling the readers what to see, what to feel, show them through actions and emotions. Instead of saying the room was messy, describe clothes piled on the floor, a bed unmade, papers strewn across a cluttered desk, and a scent that reminisce a dead body in a coffin, something like that. This immerses readers in the environment, enabling them to construct their own imagery. Number five, focus on details and specificity. Include really closed specific details enhances the visual image and adds depth to the writing. Instead of stating there was a blue bird, describe a cobalt blue feather bird with a golden beak. The more precise the detail, the clearer the image becomes in the reader's mind. But again, this applies to your current situation. Sometimes a quick glance with fast-paced prose would fit your narrative a bit better than really closed and prolonged sentences. So 
practice and see how it goes. And by employing these techniques, writers can enhance their descriptive writing skills and create lively images that linger in the minds of readers long after they finish reading. It is through these immersive experiences that stories come alive and leave a lasting impact on the audience. And this audience can also become yourself. If you read through your journals four, five, maybe ten years from now, you will see really specific images can help you relive memory and relive those feelings that you once had by yourself during a scroll in a park or an experience that you may never have a chance to experience again. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep honing your descriptive writing skills with time and dedication. You'll master the art of painting vibrant word pictures and transporting readers to the worlds you create. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any more techniques and thoughts, please let me know down in the comment section below. And again, if you like the, the content, please click the like button and subscribe. Uh, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, the website, writingguide.com for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.